I love Georgia. And so, and again, married 20 years, have two kids. And every year, my wife makes a decision for us to actually go on a trip. Last year, she says, we're going on the trip. And I said, where are we going? She says, we're going on a cruise. Now, how many folks have been on a cruise? I like cruises, right? I've never been on a cruise. And so my wife says, we're going on a cruise. We're going to Latin America. And I said, OK, no big deal. And I've never been on a cruise. And so we went down to Latin America. We take, get on the boat. First port of call is Mexico. My little girl wants to go. She's 15 now. She wants to go horseback riding on the beach. Now, when the princess, also known as the great one, wants to go horseback riding on the beach, what do we do? Horseback riding on the beach. Second port of call was Guatemala. My son, 19, wants to go ATV in the jungle. What do we do? ATV in the jungle. My wife, we get to Belize, she wants to go zip lining. Clap if you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what it is, here's the visual. Tree, tree, wire. <laughs> Get the idea? Now, I've been married how many years? Thank you for remembering. And my wife knows that I'm afraid of heights. But she made it sound like it was going to be two small little oak trees we're going to zip it from, right? <laughs> little oak trees, no big deal. But when we get to Belize, I remember we walked in, the canopy opens up, and these trees are over 100 feet tall. And I'm looking up there, and there's like these little teeny people, right? And I, and I tell my wife, my kids, there is no way I am getting up there. There's no way I'm doing it. And then my little girl, the great one, looks up at me and says that one word that would change any father's heart. What is that? No. She goes, sissy. Right? Now, let me be clear. This is important. When your girl calls you a sissy, it's time to man up. Right? It's time to man up at that point. So I said, all right, I'll do it. So what happens is, if you haven't done it, they put this little harness thing on you, right? It's kind of cool, a little harness thing, right? And they give you a little helmet and everything. And then they give you this glove. And the glove has a little piece of rawhide leather right there. And the man says, that's your breaking system. <laughs> he says, here's what's going to happen. He says, because what they do is they take the pulley, they put it on the wire. And then you zzz, that way. Everybody with me? And now he says to me, now listen carefully. This is very important. He says, when you start zipping, you're going to start picking up speed, especially right at the middle. He says, a lot of speed. He says, but you're also going to start seeing the other tree. <laughs> so what you need to do is to slow down. He says, this is how you do it. What you do is you let your hand right on the, hold the pulley, let your hand right on the wire. And he says, what you do is you tap, tap, tap the brake to slow down. He says, whatever you do, whatever you do. Do not try to grab it and stop on a dime. Your arm will come out of its socket. <laughs> now, I'm already paralyzed by fear, right? And then some people just give you too much information. You want to go, not necessary. That was not necessary. You could have just said that was the way to do it. That was it. So it was our turn. It was our turn, and there we were. We were on the platform. We were ready. I let my wife and kids go first because that's what real men do. So they went first. <laughs> They went first. Look, wait a minute. Do not judge me. I'm just trying to abide by society's standards. And what do they say? Women and children first. That's all I'm saying. Okay? Don't look at me going, sissy. Right? Now, so then it was my turn, and I was ready. Because I was ready to do it, right? Not really. But I was ready to do it. Now, I don't remember if I jumped off or he pushed me off. It doesn't really matter. I have pictures, but I will not show you the video. Because uh, there's no point in seeing a man flailing and screaming at the same time, right? It's just, just so wrong. It would just kill this whole image, OK? And so sure enough, it was my turn, and we're zzz, and I'm zipping it, man. I see that tree coming up, and what am I doing? You know, like, slow down. And it's funny, as I'm zipping, you ever tell your brain not to do something, but it does it anyway? As I'm zipping, I said, don't look down. And what do I do? And all of a sudden, my stomach just went, you know, and I'm thinking, I'm going to get to the next point, just throw up on the guy. The toughest part of that whole project was when you get to the last, you go tree, 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 swing. Wait, you get to the last one, the guy, I said, where's the stairs? Right? He says, no, no, you have to repel. If you don't know what repel is, let me give you a visual. You've got to basically butt out and you've got to launch yourself, right? And that's scary. 
That's yeah, scary, but here's the cool thing. On the way out, they gave us all, especially the brave people, they gave us all a shirt. And on that shirt had their logo, and on the back it said, I want you to record this, when was the last time you did something for the first time? Isn't that a beautiful statement? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you did something for the first time? See, I want you to go back. It's May. The year's almost halfway through. Let me ask you a question. Have you done something different this year that you haven't done before? Have you done something for the first time that will help your organization, your campus grow? Are you taking a chance? Are you going to do something different? Can I challenge you to say within the next six months we're going to do one thing that's what? Different, something exciting for the campus. Do I have your commitment? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Good enough. Get it? Good. Now, I need a volunteer.